How did you find the first mothers? They were working in a bar, a beer bar called the uh, Broadside in Pomona, California. Did they play anything? Did they play anything? Yes, I mean instruments. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, they were, they were playing instruments at the time, see. Uh, I got a phone call from Ray Collins, who is the lead singer from this group. Now, I had worked with Ray several times on records in 63. And he was working in this band at this bar, and they had a guitar player, and Ray and the guitar player had a fist fight, and he beat the guitar player up, and they didn't have a guitar player. So they called me and asked me to come down and substitute. So I went down there, and I said I would look at the band and see if I wanted to play with it, and I thought they were okay. It was Ray Collins on vocals and harmonica, Roy Estrada on bass, Jimmy Carl Black on drums, and a guy named Davey Coronado on tenor sax. And Davey was pretty much leading the band. See. So I got in there and I said, well, you know, we'll never get anywhere working in this beer bar. Let's learn some original material and go make records. And Davey Coronado said, no, if you play original material, you'll get fired from these beer joints, you know, because in those places they only want you to play what's on the radio. So uh, I talked them into playing some original stuff, and Davey quit. Mm -hmm. And he's still working in a beer joint someplace in, in California. And then we got fired, because Davey was right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and we kept getting fired for about a year until we finally made a record. Mm -hmm. You had some difficulties with the name of the band. Yeah, because uh, the record company that finally signed us uh, didn't want to sign a contract with a group called The Mothers. Why? Because, uh, do you want the real reason or you want a yes. television reason? No, not well, real reason. In the United States, uh, the term mother is short for motherfucker. And the term motherfucker can be used a variety of ways. One way, it means somebody who stuffs it up their mother. And another way, it means a musician who is supposedly good on his instrument. And at the time, in the place where we were working, all the guys who were in the group were the best available in Pomona. Mm -hmm. Does that give you a rough idea of how sad it was in Pomona in those days? So I thought we should call the group the Mothers, which is, you know, as I explained, short for that other word. So the record company said, no, you'll never be able to sell any records like that. And uh, they said, if you don't change the name of the group, we're not going to give you a contract. And they wanted to call it the Mothers Auxiliary, which is a name that is usually attached to parent organizations in, mm -hmm. in the States. So uh, I said, no, out of necessity, we will become the mothers of invention. Right. That's right. And that's where it came from.